Ever wonder why you keep putting off your weight loss? Why you continue to procrastinate the things that you know would improve your health? What if I told you procrastination is actually a superpower that's guiding you towards what you truly want? Keep watching to find out how you can turn this into your biggest advantage. My name is Justin Nault. I'm a nutritional therapist and I've helped thousands of people lose weight by eating more and exercising less. Welcome to my channel where I challenge mainstream diet culture and dive deep into why your traditional dieting attempts have failed you and how understanding the root cause of body fat storage can finally get you the results you're after. And today, we're gonna to uncover the real reason behind your procrastination and how you can achieve long-term success in your health and wellness journey. By the end of this video, you'll have actionable steps to make lasting changes without overwhelming yourself. Almost every new client comes to me with the same story. They're experiencing the same frustrations that you might be feeling right now, even while watching this video. They set ambitious diet and fitness goals every year only to fail to stick to them. They blame themselves for being lazy or lacking willpower, and you may feel the very same way. But what I know to be true after working with thousands of people is that you're not failing because you're lazy, you're failing because you're trying to force yourself to do things that you don't actually wanna do. Things that don't align with your actual core desires. This realization can be a total game changer for you, so keep watching. Millions of people struggle with maintaining their diet and fitness goals because they set unrealistic expectations and force themselves into doing things they don't truly care about. The traditional approach to fitness often sets you up for failure by demanding way too much, way too soon. Let's dive deeper into procrastination. Have you ever set a health goal for weight loss or fitness, for example, felt really excited at first, and then quickly found countless excuses and reasons to not follow through? You might tell yourself you'll start tomorrow or next week or or when things settle down. But that day never comes, and the cycle of guilt and frustration continues. Here's the shocking truth. Procrastination is not your enemy. It's a signal that should be respected. It's your mind and body's way of telling you that there's a misalignment between your goals and your genuine desire. When you set a goal that doesn't truly resonate with you, your subconscious mind will resist it. This resistance manifests as procrastination. It's not laziness, it's self-preservation. Here are some of the most common struggles that are driving procrastination. Overwhelm. The thought of changing your entire lifestyle can be paralyzed. If you've been sedentary for years with no fitness, the idea of hitting the gym every day is going to seem really daunting. Trying to go from zero fitness to daily fitness will be near impossible. Fear of failure. You've tried and failed before. The fear of failing again can stop you from even starting. Lack of interest. Maybe you don't actually enjoy the traditional forms of exercise. Treadmills, weightlifting, and strict diets probably don't excite you. The more you can be honest about that, the more you can create a plan that will actually work for you. You can hate diet and fitness programs and still get results. Trust me. Time constraints. You have a busy life, work, family, social obligations, countless responsibilities and people who depend on you and your time. Finding time for your own health feels impossible. If those struggles sound familiar, it's time to get honest about your priorities. If health and wellness have never been a priority, it's unrealistic to expect sudden drastic changes to stick. This is why New Year's resolutions notoriously fail. People are trying to go from zero to 100 immediately. This will always be a losing approach. Don't set yourself up for failure set yourself up for success. To do this, you need to acknowledge where you are currently and start making small, meaningful adjustments. If you've lived your entire life not enjoying fitness, don't fool yourself into believing you will magically start enjoying it. If you're currently spending zero days in the gym, jumping to five days per week is going to be an absolute nightmare. You need to make incremental changes. This means finding activities that you can actually tolerate if not enjoy, and incorporating them into your routine in a manageable way. The key is to build positive associations with physical activity gradually, over time. If you hate exercising, you can't add hours and hours of it to your life and expect a positive outcome. Instead, you should be setting the goal of including some amount of exercise, but the least amount of time you can get away with while still getting some positive results. You see the difference? If you're currently doing zero minutes of exercise per week, even a 10 minute walk per day will have positive benefits. Sounds a lot easier to add to your schedule than hitting the gym five days per week, am I right? Let's address a crucial point, especially for all the moms and dads out there. Many of you put everyone else's priorities above your own health. You believe you don't have time to get healthy, but the truth is you need to make your health a top priority. Imagine how much better you could care for your loved ones if you felt energized and strong all the time. The people in your life must understand that for you to be your best self, your health comes first. This is not optional. It's essential for your long-term success. And again, this won't be disruptive for your loved ones because instead of huge, unsustainable changes, you're going to focus on small steps. Very simple habits like 10-minute walks and 20-minute weightlifting sessions just two to three times per week can completely transform your health 
It's really all you need. I have what I call minimum effective dose exercise protocols that I make available to all my clients that get them serious results with the least amount of exercise time possible. These small actions are manageable and help you build momentum without overwhelming yourself. I offer customized nutrition and fitness plans that fit into your busy schedule. Imagine getting healthier with less than 90 minutes of focused effort per week. These plans are designed to integrate seamlessly into your current life making health a priority without massive disruptions. Prioritizing your health leads to more energy, higher self-worth, and an overall improved quality of life. It's not just about looking good, it's about feeling great every day. When you feel better physically, it impacts every area of your life positively, your work, your relationships, and your mental health. So don't wait until it's too late to make a change. Start now and see the benefits sooner. The sooner you start, the sooner you feel better. I feel like I'm 20. I feel like I'm 20, I'm 36 years old. I walk around eight to 10% body fat. That's not even the best part. The best part is my personal life, my professional life, my health, my well being, my happiness has all jumped tenfold. I have all the tools now in order to be happy, healthy, fulfilled. The only thing I could say is I wish I would have worked with him sooner. If that makes sense. Every small step you take today is a step towards a healthier, happier you. Consider one of my clients, Steve. He struggled with his diet and fitness goals for years. After we implemented a plan that fit into his schedule and aligned with his interests, he started seeing incredible results. He went from feeling frustrated and stuck to energized and confident in just a few months. Click the link below to book a free call with my team. We'll discuss your goals and how we can create a plan that works for you. Stop procrastinating and start prioritizing your health today. This call is 100% free and it could be the turning point you need. Now, you might be thinking, I don't have time or I've failed before. That's okay. The plans we create are designed to be simple and effective, even for the busiest schedules. And past failures don't define your future. With the right approach, you can succeed. Let me know in the comments if this resonated with you and don't forget to book your free call. Let's make your health a priority together. Remember, small steps can lead to big changes. Thanks for watching. You got this.